Okay. I think we're good. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? So, we're here. Phew, sorry guys. Um, I had to, I don't know what was going on. I had to restart my computer and that always takes 30 seconds. The audio wasn't working. So thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. Today it's March 1st, if you can even believe it. Where has the year gone, right? Hey, Margo. Whew. Okay, relax. <laughs> Shake it off. <laughs> so I did get my shot, my second shot, Pfizer, on Friday. And it was at four o'clock in the afternoon. And it was real funny because I decided on Saturday I was going to cut myself some slack. And I have what I call day jammies. And they're just, they're just the they're almost like yoga pants or something. They're just the best with us mm, so soft. And I, and I had to go get something from my neighbor. So I was out and I go, yeah, Dan. I said, um, I got my day jammies on and I, I got my shot yesterday and people are walking down the street going, tell me about the shot. Tell me about the shot. It's so funny. You guys, it is all over the board. So this is what happened to me. I got the shot at four o'clock in the afternoon and then 10 o'clock the next morning, I'm thinking, and I'm in my day jammies, and I'm sitting there thinking, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm cut myself some slack and just watch TV all day. I watched Nomadland, which was interesting. Um, John loved it. I kind of gave, I mean, I thought it, it kind of comes across like a documentary. It's a very interesting story to see how this whole subculture lives and how much they embrace it. Um, then I watched How to Make an American Quilt, remember that came out what in the 90s or something okay and I remembered it I wish I had not watched it again because I remembered it being better than how I recall now well but then I got into the series that I'm hooked on <laughs> Wentworth now if you are of a pure mind I would suggest you do not watch Wentworth it's about a it's a women's prison show it is so good because it gets into character study and all that kind of stuff. And if you are of a pure mind, I would say watch Virgin River, okay? Not Wentworth. But my friend got me hooked on it and yes, yes, yes. So I have a couple questions here before we get going. I actually have a lot of information. People wanted to know if we're going to have more machine quilting rulers, you know, the wider ones that you can, this is our straight line one. And yes, we're working on more. We have two that should be coming out in May, I believe. So I'm very excited about that. And what sets these apart, Quilter Select, is that the, the you know how our rulers don't slip? Well, these don't slip either. So when you're long arming or working at your sit down or working on your domestic, it actually helps as like a holder of your quilt so that was asked maybe a week and a half ago i couldn't remember it on friday and i remembered it as soon as we stopped the live somebody also wanted to know about the grid wall grid we um actually have started carrying it at the tqs store it is currently back ordered everywhere i believe there's a wish list to be to get hold of us and we'll let you know when we get it in so that's cool and then the other question was on the birdhouse, the bases and the roofs and all of that. I used uh, the tool, uh, what's it called, um, to get finished edges. This is an inch wide. This tucks right under this one here. This is all finished applique. The base is an inch and the uh, pole is an inch and a half. All right, no, hold on, it's horrible. I can't tell you the name of the tool off the top of my head. Margo, help me out. Oh, this thing, the sasher. I use the sasher, all right? And that's how I got that. As far as placement of everything, that's kind of an individual sasher. sasher. Yeah, that's kind of an individual choice, you know? And so just get it so that your eye goes over the whole surface. I chose to have some of the flowers dip up into the border. So that's why I sewed the border on first. Uh, you know, it's your own thing. And I've seen some really cool things over in the new forum. I am going to speak to what's happening on the new website when I'm done today. 
I asked you guys to be kind and you have been amazing, amazing. And you are our eyes. What's the matter, John? Oh, yeah. Would you like to say something? Oh, he's trying to fix the lighting now. I was more worried about getting the side up. Oh, okay. So, so um, I'm going to talk about that at the end. I, I, I really stayed out of the new site, all right, because that sort of stuff just blows my freaking brains off, okay? But I did go into the forum, and I want to show you there were a couple basket quilts that went up. Okay, this is Irene's, and this is fabulous but i want to I, irene i really want to thank you for sending the center of it because this is a very precious precious thing to me um while the bobbin chirps the violets or where or well the bob rob <laughs> great bob bobbin or robin robin i don't know bobbin or chirps <laughs> The violets bloom. I whatever it says, it's great. Okay, <laughs> I knew what it was this morning. Oh, geez, Louise. And then Judy sent me this, and Judy, hey, Rondi, Judy stumbled on this, and now is a part of the site and all that, which is great. And I, I want to notice down there. I'm going to say at about mm, five o'clock. Look, she snuck in one of our B, one of the BOM blocks from this year's Color My World. And I just, boy, that turned out great. And I'm thinking, like, where's my quilt? And then I remembered I donated it uh, so we could get food in food banks. All right. The other thing I talked about on Friday that I was going to do was I was going to clean some hankies of Wendy's. All right. So look at how gross this is. All right. I mean... They're just, I mean, what is that? I don't even want to know. Uh, that J, I really wanted that hanky because that's what I wanted to use for the baby that's not yet born, baby J. By the way, they had a baby shower yesterday online and I gave her the one that I worked on and I think she was pretty pleased. All right, so what I did was retro clean, all right? Retro clean. I'm gonna do a uh, a commercial right here, right now. This stuff works. All right. So what you do is you put whatever it says, like for a gallon of water, three to four tablespoons, and you do it with hot water or actually it says warm, but I did hot. And so this is soaking after 24 hours. You can see the J there on the left-hand side. And I also want you to see the ones on the right. I had not yet washed. And in fact, Lee, I don't really have an image of them, but I can grab it. So I, the thing I want you to see is that the water actually gets dirty. So this is not even that bad of dirty, but it's a little dirty. I thought you might be interested in seeing that. And so then I soaked it, that J one again, okay? And I want to show it to you. Now it's basically been soaked twice with two different sets of retro clean in it. Where did that, where did it go? Oh, here it is. All right. Let me make sure, let me get this up as close as I can. There is a little bit of residual right there. I can certainly live with that. Let's go back to see what it looked like before. Look at that. Unbelievable. Un believable. So I really stand by this product. I, uh, we do carry that in, in the store. So this stuff is great. I actually, I'm shocked that it got it that clean. I'm actually shocked. And all of the hankies, all of them just shaped up like there was no tomorrow. I mean, absolutely beautiful. By the way, if you have antique hankies that you don't want, I know somebody who wants them. <laughs> Just saying, all right? So the next thing, what do I have here? Okay, I'm going to show finished applique today and by hand. 
by hand. And a lot of you would th might say, but I don't wanna do it by hand. I only like machine work. And honestly, that's kind of where I'm at right now. And on Friday, I'll show you how to do finished machine applique where it looks like hand applique. But I always say this when I lecture, you've got a tool belt and you can put as many tools in that belt as you want, all right? You can keep it naked or you can stuff it. And one of the things might be hand applique. So let's just pretend, oh, this is not pretend, this happened. I saw this quilt, I think it was at Houston, and I went out of my mind over it. That just got me super excited because I, it kind of reminds me of the, excuse me, the Jen Kenwell, kind of how she works, which I adore. So I kind of snuck a picture of this, and, and as I go to duplicate it, I am not duplicating it. I'm taking out parts of it. And so for instance, all the little squares or maybe some of the blocks and I piece them together and mathematically make it and mathematically make sure it all fits. So this is a very modern version of that quilt. I love this quilt, but I want to tell you what happened or when I make these things, I just do section by section and throw them up on the design wall and I sewed it all together. Let's go from the upper left-hand corner down to the bottom right-hand corner and then move up right. Okay, those oranges were all there, but on the bottom left-hand area, it was not good, all right? It was, it, there was an orange there and I'll be darned if I was gonna pick it apart and get orange there. So what I did was I created a finished applique using my um, print and piece fuse light and then I hand stitched it on top of the other squares. So if we look at the orange that has the polka dot, if we go to the upper left hand corner, you can see it's where the two oranges butt up to each other. You can see that they're not perfectly aligned and that's because I have applique on top. And my guess is that the orange dot was there and I applique the sunburst, the one that's like at the upper, take the polka dots, go kitty corner up to the left. My guess is that's what I applique on. And then I quilted it. So you may think that you don't want to have this, but you need to have this in your wheelhouse. I'm just putting it out there. In fact, when I lecture the gills, that's one of my things that I talk about is how thick is your tool belt and how many tools are stuffed into it. So the more tools you have, the better off you're going to be. And it doesn't mean it has to be your go-to run to thing. It's just, okay. So let's, let's talk about, I have all my shapes prepared and ready to go. How I like to work. And again, there are a million different ways to work is I like to glue down the components. So what I did was I glued down all these pieces before I started working and I did something really stupid. I have, I'm having a real hard time with this quilt psychologically because what I did was I went, wow, here's some squ squirt on Roxanne glue. And it was like, wow, this stuff comes out really easy because you know, in some of the Roxanne things that they can get hinked up. So I just went, you're gluing them on. What happened was it came up and it left a big mark. Every single daisy I had to pull off and remake. So I was not a happy camper, but my misery is how you learn. All right, Israel, you know, that's where my daughter-in-law was um, born. Can you help me enter to the new site? I cannot log in and also cannot open a ticket. John, you'll come in and talk to Tammy, okay, in a few minutes. All right, so the first thing I want, I want you to know that I did wrong. Let me push this back. What I did wrong was, like I said, I just went like down like that. Don't do that. That is a huge mistake. What you need to do, and this is a cool new Roxanne thing. Actually, this is, this is a sample that they sent me. How I would do it and how you should do it is either with 
this, you know, the this kind. They have all different ways to apply and stuff. The ticket is that when you go to glue this onto something, just do a little dab like this all the way around the edge. Do not go like that. Don't do that. All right. And then I would place it where I want it to go. Boom. And then I would go and iron it, of which that's what I did right here like 10 minutes ago and it's stuck. So let's glue, let's glue the center on. And you can see that this, this little circle was prepared with the um, print and piece fuse light because 90% of it will wash out. It's a fiber is here. And I think I like this thing a lot, this stuff. I mean, I love the product. The problem is, is that the glue will like get stopped up, but now they come with a, a cleaner thing and I think they've thought it out a little bit better, but it's a fabulous product. All right. All right. I'm going to just press it down and you could darn near prepare the whole thing if you so want. Bring this down more and get my hands in here. All right, so as far as needles go, there are a million different brands and I own a million different brands. What I'll do is, and this is when I'm binding or when I'm doing anything, I can't even tell you what this is, all right? I pulled it out of my pin cushion. I will literally just go and needle. And if it's needle, if it needles easily, yay, good to go, all right? I like them really, really thin. Now the problem with being, oh, now this one's got a nice eye in it, but the problem with being thin is that this eye can get really small. So I went to Amazon and I ordered these. I think I got all of these for like 10 bucks or something or even less. I've got plenty of needle threaders. And by the way, because I'm a left-hander, I use this on my Q20, all right, to help thread it up because it's basically designed for a right-hander. So, oh, come on. I'm all, my hands are all sweaty. How stupid is that? I'm going to use my 80 weight, my uh, polyester 80 weight quilter select. I'm going to do it in white. If I were doing it for real, I would want to use this and match this color up to a thread color in here. So I might well use this one right here, but I'm using white just to show you. So I am, I got a thread war going on here. What the heck is going on? Oh my gosh, where are you coming from? Okay. There we go. I mean, again, you get like a zillion of these for 10 bucks. There, I threaded it. Now note that I haven't put a knot at the end yet, all right? I like to knot it while it is still on the spool, which it is. And so how I knot it is I make an O around my fingers and then I come up. There it is, let me do another one. I make an O And then I come up. I only do one, but I just did that to show you. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clip it. And the reason is, is that thread has a wrap and that keeps the wrap in the right direction. You know, I was afraid I just did that. Dang it, I gotta do it again. I cut through the whole thing. I got too many threads going on here. Get out of here. Okay. You know, the best part is that I'm doing this live. <laughs> Right, so let's do it again. See, yeah, you wanted to see how I did it again. Oh, shoot. All right. Thank you for your patience. Oh, while I'm doing this, um, my friend Sue, many of you know her from Retreat, 
saw that I had the second shot and either her first or second shot, her armpit got all uh, swollen up. She's a pharmacist. And she said, if you are going to get a mammogram after your shot, you might get a false negative. So wait for six weeks. I thought that was interesting. So I made that. There's my little knot. Thanks, Sue. She usually comes here. All right. I can feel the knot. Oh, there you are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in from behind the top. And remember, I'm matching. In real life, I'm matching the color. And people want to know if you can uh, hand quill, hand applique with the appliquick in, or not the appliquick, with the print and piece fuse light. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going on where I came in. I wonder if I can get down even lower. Oh man, I love this camera in Swan. Yep, there we go. I'm going to go underneath the orange and come up kind of underneath and behind the blue. If I were, and then I push it with my thumb, I would consider if I were doing this by hand to get one of those little pads that you put on in lieu of a thumb thimble. And the teenier the stitches, the better you are. But you can, wow, I'm impressed. I can't even see my white thread. Holy smokes. Maybe I'll have to hand applique again. Again, if you want to learn how to learn, do turned applique, you're not going to get it from me. You're going to get it from Becky Goldsmith on her shows. She is the queen of it. So search that. And I'm going to talk about how to find stuff on this side. All right. So let's pretend I'm done. I can go to the back and do something, and but I'm going to stay on the top. What I'm going to do is in the orange, all right, I'm going to circle around my needle, push it through, and there you have a knot. And what I might do is come up in another place. Again, I could also go to the back and do it. Okay, it's not it's just that crazy one little thing. And then I would strongly suggest you use curved scissors because it happens. In fact, my friend Wendy, whose kids shower was yesterday, is an expert applicator. She actually uh, has taught at Ellie's thing when she was still doing everything. She has cut holes in things. So, you know, it, yes, I can believe that there are some people that would rather work by machine myself being one of them, but there are times that you need it. And the teenier the stitches, the finer the thread, and all of that, the better off you are. So let, let's, first of all, again, okay, on Wednesday, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna handle it. I was gonna do machine finished. And I may, I think I'm gonna show you how Shelly Tobish does it, and I'm not sure that you can do this on all machines. I mean, I'll tell, I'll talk through how to do the blanket stitch, um, but but Shelly showed me something, and again, I'm on a Bernina at 765. All right, so let's take a look at the front page of the new site, and and I'll tell you what's going on. Okay. So we now do not have drop downs, but what you do is, let's say you wanted to learn, watch a show. You click watch a show, which is on the far left hand side, and then you can type in exactly what you're looking for at the top and go there. Or let's say you get to the site and you just want to find anything, type it in, hit go, and there you go. That was in lieu of drop down menus. And we've gotten a little, um, a little, uh, I am too, Carolyn, I'm a left hander. Uh, people wanting the drop down. And, uh, you know, we'll discuss it. Every single thing that you tell us that we are getting, we are listening to. Okay, so I thought this was really cool. I went to C Quilts 
and this came up and it's by Nancy Hirschberger. She won um, first place in Innovative Mid-Atlantic Quilt Festival this year. Think about that. We are able, because of the internet, to be able to go to different quilts all over the world. And I'm gonna tell you how many quilts we have on the page in the, in the thing for a moment. But look at this, while we're looking at this quilt, here are similar quilts you can go to. And this image that I just showed you passed back here, I just clicked on it and it got that big. So very, very excited about that. Now here's what you need to know. It was pretty traumatic this last Friday and Saturday on the site. This site is has over 30,000 pages, all right? This site has been in existence since 07. And we have, I would say, over 25,000 quilts on this site. When we talk to web developers, they go, oh, yeah, yeah, I can do this. I don't know of any other site in the universe that has this much information. Your dentist might have 15 pages. <laughs> and so, so what we wanted, our goal with this site, was to make it so that you could easily find things. And, and there, one person wrote and said it was a little too busy because we want you to be able to find things. And I have to tell you honestly, when I first looked at it, I kind of went, whoa, but then I just started scooting around. All right, so what happened was this, is it is a brand, you're gonna be here in a minute, right? A brand new site, even though it's the old site, it's now viewed on the web as a brand new site. And so what happens then are people like Google, they all come in and they wanna check out every single page. And so it's called indexing, right? Right. Okay, and so then all of a sudden, Everybody in the world is trying to index and we want that because we want when you go to Google to be able to, or when anybody goes to Google to be able to, you know, write in applique, of course we want to come up. And that's why it took so long to get this site up was we were indexing everything, but the rope, the bots went crazy after us. Well, what's happening right now is we were surprised because we built the site to be three times larger than we thought anyone would have Ever. come to the site. Mm -hmm. And so when we opened up the site, the internet world said, oh, a brand new site, and I'm going to index it. Well, we, like she said, we expected Google and Yahoo and Bing to get in there and do that. But apparently there are hundreds of websites who want to index every page. Now, if your website's 100 pages, big deal. It doesn't matter. They come in, they do it, it's two seconds, they're gone. But if you have over 30,000 pages, that means that we have 50 bots at the same time asking for 30,000 pages while you're trying to we're get popular. your one. We're popular. We're the prom yeah. queen. <laughs> and so if you get a thing that says insufficient storage, you just got beat out by a bot. <laughs> and we're doing everything we can to block all of them except for Google and you, Yahoo. And, and I have to tell you on Saturday morning, um, our webmaster had to talk John and, and Justin off the cliff because they were freaking out. And then when he explained this, it was like, Oh, okay. Now we're going to be going to meetings, Justin and I. That's the one of those meetings where you go, "Hi, I'm John Anderson. I own a website." <laughs> yeah. But but now, can you answer the gal from Israel? Yeah, she was running into the insufficient storage. She couldn't get on. Mm. So what does she do? Just try again? Yeah, yeah. They're they're working real hard to get it to knock those bots out of the way, so that when you go there, that you get first. And then the other thing is, I mean, I am. I am really ready to go sailing. You look great, Chantel. <laughs> Uh-oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, are you going to have a link on the new site for puzzles like you did? John, come in here. Uh, no, they just go up to the search bar and say puzzle. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to get used to that search bar. We're trying to make it easy as far as the puzzles go. Just go up there and type in um, puzzles, and they'll all come up. We what else? over every puzzle we've ever done. We did not come here. I don't like being a repeat, a repeat <laughs> monkey here. <laughs> That's what happened to me. I thought my computer was going crazy. No, no, the robots are beating us out. <laughs> yeah. And, but it's going to be fixed. And that'll go away, you know, mm -hmm. within the next two weeks. They'll have all kind of made their way in and done it. Um, but puzzles, we didn't bring over every puzzle we had. We're doing three puzzles a week, so you're going to build up a history real quick. But, are but there, just what, go up into now? the bar and type in puzzles, and you'll see that there's probably 10 right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, 
in that way. And then soon you're going to be able to do that with the Ginny game. Right now you can't, but we're going to be building but, that up. But I will tell you, if you find something, please let us know because the site is so huge. You have brought stuff to our attention that we were not aware of, and we are madly testing. I, I mean, just going everywhere. And when you go different places, that's how you're going to learn how to navigate the site. Great. Okay, the other one person, what about names when they make a comment? It's going to use your first it name. It should be first name and last, and last initial. First name and last initial. This morning it was first name and last name when we said you have to take that off. We have set up the um, forum and the site to be extremely safe as far as people breaking in, except the robots, and getting you know getting in there. So if, there, if there's something that we've done and you go, why? It is for your safety your convenience and all of that change is hard change is really hard but now i can tell you i was not going to tell you this before now our old site was crumbling crumbling we were using technology that was you know 12 years old and we were it from our lips to god's ears it stayed up and didn't collapse so uh, change is inevitable and change is good and we so appreciate your kindness. Now, on another note, again on Wednesday, I am going to show you how Shelly does her machine applique, Tobish. And I think I'm gonna give you a glimpse of the new project. It's, it's, in a, it's in a state right now that I would not be embarrassed to show you. I'm making leaves like mad and putting them up there and all of that. So let me look at a couple comments and see if there's anything here going on that I need. I hope you all had a nice weekend. Let's see, where do I find patterns for the BOM? You go to learn, go there. You're gonna see Dee's classroom, my classroom, and all, and the BOMs. Um, avatars, you go to your account and put it up, just put your face up. Has Barbara made a new video for posting on the forum? Barbara's on right now. Barbara will be on this Thursday. She comes on the first Thursday of every month. Is she gonna talk about the websites? Avatars are in the dashboard when you're logged in. Okay, avatars are in the dashboard, but you have to be logged in, all right? You have to be logged in. Um, do you recommend your 60 weight thread for EPP, easy paper piecing? Sure. English. English paper piecing. No, I would use the 80 weight. It's so fine and so beautiful. How do I find the live show? What you do, if you're talking about right here, right now, you can get this on Facebook and on um, YouTube. If you're talking about the shows on the site, you have to be logged in. You have to be paid. I think there are some free shows you can watch. I believe it's the far left button. Uh, go there and then type in what you want. Um, my that my account says Timis should say Thomas, and I've tried editing it and I can't get it to change. Put do a ticket. <laughs> That's a good one. Do a ticket, okay, please, uh, Joan. I would appreciate that. How do you post on the forum? Well, you just, Barbara, you'll cover a lot of this on Thursday, won't you please? I, I have answered some people on the forum. I have not done a, a new post yet. So thank you so much, Christy, for your compliment. It has not been easy. It has not been easy at all, which is what I just walk away from it because my brain doesn't think that way. You yes. You have to be a member to post on the forum. You do have to be a member to privacy and safety. Because of privacy and safety, you have to be a member to post on the forum. You can look at the forum, but you can't answer or post if you're not a member. And that is for 10,000 reasons. In the end, it's for the safety of, the biggest is for the safety of you who are members, all right? Is the new side up? Yes, it is. So, okay, I'll see you guys Wednesday. And there has just been, okay, Barbara, thank you. I will cover the forum Thursday. You must be logged in as a star member to post in the forum. She's so much clearer than I. All right, and oh, the other thing too is I wanna congratulate Dee on her Saturday samplers. Her, the quilt is, the uh, Jen Kingwell quilt 
it is coming along like crazy. I mean, she's done, I think about four different sessions on it. And as it's coming up on the site, I am very, very excited for her. What I wonder about Joe, my membership is up. Um, Don, John, um, if people's memberships are up, do we notify them? Do we, uh, um, Donna Tauber wants to know if people's memberships are up, do we notify them? Oh, we will. Yeah, we do. It's in their dashboard too. It's in your dashboard too. So, okay. Thanks guys. Have a wonderful day. And Rhonda, you and I are going to enjoy this weather. We are very, very lucky, but man, we need rain. So talk to you later. Have a good one. See you Wednesday. Bye-bye.